How's it going, Phone Lab? It's Root Junkie here, and in today's video, we're going to show you how to install the Android SDK and get ADB functioning on your computer. So, the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to come over here to the uh, Java uh, JDK uh, development kit here, and we're going to install this. So, what you're going to need to do is come up here, and there should be a little accept button like you see right here, right up on here on the page. I'll refresh my page, and you'll see it. So, you see the little reset accept button? You're going to click that. And then you're going to come down here and for 64-bit Windows 10, which is what we're running right here, I'm going to need the X64 version or um, this version. And I've actually downloaded them both. This would be for 32-bit if you have a 32-bit computer. So one of those two is what you're going to need. Um, but mainly for Windows 10, you're going to be on 64-bit. So we're going to go ahead and click on that and download it. Now, I've already downloaded it. The other thing you're going to download is below this video. Right here, you're going to download this, the Android um, SDK R24 12 Windows zip okay so you're gonna download those two files now I've already got my two files downloaded they are here and here and let me just show you what we're gonna do so we're gonna open this one go over here right click hit open or you can do with 7-zip you should have 7-zip installed if you don't make sure you have it installed it's an excellent tool hit open archive and then we're gonna take this and we're gonna go ahead and hit extract and then we're gonna extract it to our C drive so if we delete everything else you'll be left with um, this right here, okay? Just C colon slash. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay, and that should extract um, everything we need here for the Android SDK to get it set up to our C drive. So we'll let it finish, there you go. And then you're gonna install this right here. This is the JDK for Java. We're gonna double click on it, give it administrative rights on our computer, and then we're gonna go through the install of this. So you just hit next, all these things are fine. You can leave everything default, and um, it's just going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and install everything. So this is for again 64-bit version. You can see that's what we installed, and um, this should be very simple and easy to uh, let this install process finish. And then yeah, you can say next to say, keep the same location, and just go ahead and let it update. While it's updating, let's go back to my computer, and let's just see what we have. So right here, you see we have. Android SDK for Windows, so that is a good thing to have that there already. This looks like it is still finishing the install. Shouldn't take too much longer and should have everything fully installed. Let's see what we've got here. Yep, so we can hit close. So now come over here and go ahead and right click and rename this just to Android SDK. Right there, hit OK. And then we're gonna go ahead and double click on it. And then in here, you can see we have the SDK Manager. So we're going to go ahead and launch this program. And there it is. It looks like I launched two of them, so let's try to try to do one of them at a time. All right, and in here, let's blow this up so you guys can see it. All right, so in here, we have Android SDK Tools, we have Platform Tools, and we have Build Tools, okay? So what you're going to need is to uncheck most of this. So you're gonna uncheck this. We don't need um, build tools currently. Uh, you can see this has got an update available. We're just gonna scroll down here. And the other thing you wanna probably get is the Google USB drivers. So have that checked. And those two checked. Okay, tools and, and platform tools. And then we're gonna go ahead and over here it says install three packages. So we're gonna do that. And then um, accept licenses and go ahead and click install. And that's going to go ahead and get everything set up on your device to get this fully installed and functional for you. Um, yeah, so we should be good. We're just waiting for these things to install on this computer. Um, once these install, we're going to go ahead and test to see if we have everything functioning correctly when it comes to um, using ADB from the command prompt window. And if not, we're going to show you guys how to build and put uh, ADB into the path so you can use it from any command prompt, which is going to be nice. So let's let this finish installing. Looks like it's getting there fairly quickly. All right, looks like uh, Android Tools updated. So hit OK. So that's done. We can go ahead and uh, close this window. And we'll go ahead and close this window out. And now you can see you've got some extra things in here now. This has changed a little bit. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go into Platform Tools, and here you can see you have ADB and uh, Fastboot files right here. All right, so to test ADB and make sure we've got it installed correctly here on our Windows 10 machine, um, we're going to go ahead and hold Shift on our keyboard, right-click with our mouse, and go ahead and open PowerShell. Now, 
You can see I have open command window as well, which is what we like to use here on, on um, Phone Lab. But this is an option you're going to see how to get this set up in the next video. So stay tuned for that. But right now, let's open PowerShell just to show you how that we have it installed correctly. So we'll open that. And then the easiest way to do this is just to drag the file into PowerShell and then type help after it, space help, and hit enter. And you can see that we have ADB, you know, all functioning correctly here, and it's all good. You can see all these ADB lines. That means ADB is installed and functioning correct, correctly. Now, we need to get ADB into the path um, of our computer. And to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to hold right here. See this where you're highlighting platforms tools, and you're going to hit copy address. Okay? Then you're going to come down here. And you're going to go to settings and we're going to go to system and we're going to click on about then we're going to scroll down and we're going to look for system info and this may be the long way to get there but it's it and then we're going to look for advanced system settings and then we're going to look for variables okay environmental variables and then here are the variables on this thing so what we want to do is we want to come into path and we want to click edit okay so now we want to click new and then we want to paste in our path. See it? Just like that. So this way you, you know you've got the correct path. It may be different than what we have in this tutorial in case you extracted things differently or you renamed things differently. So the best way to do it is to copy that from the address bar. And then you're just going to come down here and you're going to hit OK. Okay. Other thing I would do is I'd come into this path and I'd also edit it. And I'd come in here and say new and I hit paste in here as well and then I take and I say move up and I move this path variable all the way to the top okay and then hit OK do that also make sure it's also on the top up here as well move up to the top alright so we've got those in now we can leave this and variables up let's go back to this screen and let's come back here and go to tools um, yeah let's go to tools as well and let's put it in the path as well. So to do that, again, copy address. And we're going to come back to the windows. Here they are. And we'll click on this one. We'll click edit. We'll say uh, new. We'll paste it in. And then we'll move it up. Okay. Hit all right. And then the same down here. Edit. New. Paste. And move up. And this is just going to make it so that you can run ADB and Fastboot from any location. Okay, hit all right, hit OK, hit OK. We can close all these out. And now, since we have ADB installed in the path, we can come down here and we should be able to find CMD. Let's actually do it from this. So command prompt. And we should be able to type ADB devices and or ADB help and you can see that we are now running ADB and we're not in the platforms tool folder we're in the ADB file or ADB just anywhere we're anywhere here we're in user phone lab okay so now ADB will run from any location so I can open it up here ADB help and ADB is functional at any point so now no matter where we are we can open a command window even in this location open command window and do ADB help and it also runs well as well so that is good we are good we have um, Android SDK installed and we are rocking it now if you guys need to do an update to Android SDK once they get new ADB files out there it's very simple just come into the SDK manager and it'll run it'll come up here and it'll check to see if there's updates available okay and if there are you can just update available It actually says there's an update available so you can actually just check those two again uncheck that USB drivers are good and then go ahead and install package updates so we'll accept and install now the path um, is set up one time and never has to be done again but this will go ahead and check for updates for Android SDK so you might want to check again after you do the initial install and just make sure everything's up to date for you. But guys, I'm going to let this go ahead and install. Everything is fully functional here now with Java. And you are good to go when it comes down to ADB from 
uh, command window or uh, PowerShell. And that is it. Hope you guys have enjoyed this lesson. Hope um, you're able to follow along pretty easily with it. You may need to pause at times to kind of track with me, but um, it's really not that hard. The biggest thing is getting the path figured out and making sure you have the path set up re uh, the best you can. And the easiest way, like I said, is just to go to platform tools where your ADB files are at and go ahead and copy the address. Best way, no errors that way. But you'll see some links down below this video and you'll see some things in there telling you how to do some of this. But that's pretty much it. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video here of installing the Android SDK on your worktop PC. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.